today I can say I'm a champion. Um, few players consider playing football in their career. Eight years after the start of his own MLS journey, Kevin Molino is now an MLS Cup champion. Columbus crew defeated and dethroned LAFC on December 9th. Crew has employed past TNT legends such as Turn John and Ansel Elcock. And while even they could not achieve what Molino now has, he pays homage. That's what, the reason why I went there, because uh, Stern John being part of it, Ansel Elcock, uh, Julius James, and we could go on and on, a uh, couple guys just to name. And um, to be part of that history of the club is tremendous. To finally win the cup and be part of history of the club, and to be part of something with players for the rest of their life, we'll always have conversations about. Um, I'm just grateful to be part of it. The cup win concludes a tumultuous year for the talented TNT playmaker. We talk about injuries uh, to an extent, mental health, doing therapy, back and forth, you know, being in and out of the team, you know, it has been a difficult role. Previously tipped as the heir to Russell Latapi in the TNT national team, Molino returned from a career-threatening injury just as the Soko Warriors were pummeled at the Gold Cup. What followed was a public disagreement with head coach Angus Eve and Molino's eventual retirement from international football at just 33 years old. The love I have for the national team will always be there, although I step away. I still support and watch the guys and I wish them the best. Is there any chance of a return for Kevin Molino? For me, no. If I make a decision, because I truly make a decision for me. His contract option has been picked up by Columbus, giving him at least one more year in the MLS. Maybe play outside for a couple more years and I want to come back and play in Trinidad because I only play in Trinidad for one year.